That's not leadership. That's a recipe for quagmire, spilling American blood and treasure that ultimately will weaken us. Quagmire refers to a boggy area of land where it's very wet and swampy and it's very difficult for troops to travel through. And uh, if by chance they do travel through, it's very easy for them to get trapped in the quagmire too. Quag means swamp, mire means mud, uh, which is typically what you'll have in swamps, a lot of mud. So uh, in a more modern idea, a quagmire refers to a situation where once you go into the situation, it's very difficult to get out of the situation. Generally, this will be a military uh, adventure, such as Vietnam or Iraq where uh, people think, well, maybe you shouldn't have been so quick to go in there because you could predict that it would turn into a quagmire, which uh, both of them did. So metaphorically, quagmire refers to any situation where it's easy to get bogged down or get muddled down, where it's much easier to get into the situation than it is to be uh, successful or to get out of the situation. So it refers to any complex or hazardous situation. Of course, I wasn't alive at the time, but uh, when I read about the Vietnam War, I could tell it was a quagmire before they even got started in it, but yet they just went into it anyway. Years ago, I got involved in this development project where uh, we bought we bought this big swamp and we wanted to turn it into a golf course but then uh, the EPA got involved and they said we couldn't build our golf course so we tried to sell the land and they said we couldn't sell the land because we had to get EPA approval and then we finally said well here why don't we just give you land back and they said no no we don't want the land you you're stuck with it so it turned into a real quagmire and we ended up losing a lot of money and we're still losing a lot of money because we can't get rid of it. Very unfortunate. But on issues of global concern, we will mobilize the world to work with us and make sure other countries pull their own weight. Okay, pull your weight refers to a person doing enough work to cover or pay for uh, the effort of uh, keeping that person uh, supplied with food and energy or money. Uh, the idea is based on a wagon where uh, there's people that are pulling the wagon who are contributing to the the benefit of everybody and there's people that are sitting in the wagon and they're getting pulled along so the people that are sitting in the wagon they're not pulling their weight and the people that are pulling the wagon they're actually pulling more than their weight so the idea is that you don't want people sitting in the wagon unnecessarily and uh, this concept certainly very important for uh, companies because they want people to contribute towards the profit of the company and the people that are not doing that they will call these people dead weight they'll also call them dead wood and they'll try to come up with ways of getting rid of these people in order to uh, improve the profitability of the company so when you pull your weight you do your fair share of a common task in most companies, if you don't pull your weight, very typically you'll get fired sooner or later. So most people have a pretty good sense of whether they're pulling their own weight or not. And sometimes they'll find themselves in positions where it's very difficult to pull their weight because of just the nature of their, their job task. So if people have good sense, what they'll try to do if they're in a, a, a disadvantaged job task, 
they'll try to seek out other uh, work that they can do which will give them a chance to pull their weight which will give them an opportunity to keep their job. In any sports team there's always uh, going to be a star, somebody who seems to be overperforming and who's pulling more than their own weight. And there's also people who uh, people would consider not to be pulling their weight and they think whatever contributions these people are making are not worth the effort of keeping these people on the team. But this can oftentimes be misleading because the star might be getting fed all of the good stuff from all of the weaker players and uh, the person you might consider to be weak, they can be performing some function that is critical to the success of the team. So the idea of pulling your own weight it can be somewhat misleading because uh, a, a fair amount of that depends on the particular roles that people are playing in the organization and the opportunities they're being given. Though, you know, obviously in other cases you'll have people that aren't pulling their own weight and these can be perfectly decent people. It's not necessarily that they're lazy, it's just that their position isn't so uh, advantageous to being able to make a visible contribution. ESL-FullSteamAhead.com